So I'm back today in Oxford to visit a garden that we created two years ago where we made a wildlife pond and a wildflower meadow and just as a bit of a backup for my constant uh, stories on Twitter of how easy these habitats are to manage uh, I've got uh, my good, my now good friend Wiley with me who's uh, hopefully Wiley you can shed a bit of light as to how easy these sites are to manage. Yeah sure, I mean really easy to manage uh, I, the way I manage it is I cut it once in uh, early spring, then I leave with it. With a scythe? With uh, a scythe? No, I don't do that with the scythe because it's still it's, <laughs> it's still a bit too short for a scythe at yeah. that point. Uh, rotary mower in spring, then I let it grow up throughout the summer, and then either early August, mid August, I cut it with a, a scythe. Uh, a man's way of managing the meadow. <laughs> all the grass cuttings, and then I follow that up with a, a rotary cut to get it really short, and then I'll leave it over winter. Yeah, so, perfect. So and as you can see, a lot of people ask me on social media, what does a meadow look like or a flowering next lawn in the winter months? And as you can see, we've just got these nice little tufts now uh, regenerating of things like uh, common or black knapweed. We've got oxide daisies in here. What else? Um, yeah, some yellow wild rattle. carrot. Yellow rattle, yeah, we've got red clover. So it's an absolute blaze of colour in the summer months and I'll make sure that on my next visit it is when everything is in full flower. So it'll be nice to see. And the pond is doing well as well, isn't it? Wiley? The pond has been excellent. Uh, it's had all sorts of species, some really unexpected things. Grey wagtail, who would have guessed grey it? Grey wagtail, uh, it's got um, blue tailed damselflies in it. Uh, it's regularly visited by broad-bodied chasers. Uh, we get hawkers above it. Uh, I suspect they have laid some eggs in it, although I haven't found any larvae yet. Uh, and then also, how many species was it? Three hundred. Uh, within the garden itself, uh, this year alone, either in the garden, in the pond, or in the air above, three hundred forty-nine species. So, if that's not an advert. In a very small area. There so, you go. Yeah, I'd recommend anybody to do what I did. Get a pond, get a wildflower meadow and bring all that life into your life. Brilliant.